Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about how to add and subtract rational expressions whose denominators are opposites. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem here, we're subtracting two rational expressions, and again the denominators are opposites. We have m squared minus 6m over m squared minus 1 minus 3m plus 2 over 1 minus m squared. Notice these denominators are very close, but they're not the same. They're opposites. What can we do? Well, let's go rewrite the first part, first fraction, m squared minus 6m over an m squared minus 1 minus and what I'm going to do here is I am actually going to multiply the second fraction by negative 1 over negative 1. As such, 3m plus 2 and a 1 minus an m squared here. Now what happens with that? Again, left hand side stays the same, m squared minus 6m over an m squared minus 1. What happens to the second one? We distribute the minus sign to each part here. We have a minus a 3m minus a 2. Don't forget, it gets right to both parts. Same thing here. Minus 1 times 1 is a minus 1. Minus 1 times minus m squared is plus an m squared. Almost the same. Watch this. If we just flip the denominator of the second rational expression part, we'll have the same exact denominator. So we have m squared minus 6m over an m squared minus 1, minus here, minus 3m, minus 2, over an m squared minus 1, plus a negative 1, minus 1. Now we're finally somewhere. We see the denominators are the same, okay? Since they are the same here, we can combine them to be one big fraction, so let's do that here. We have, oh, let's go subtract the numerator. All right, good, m squared's by itself, so I don't have to erase anything m squared, nothing over here. We have minus a 6m minus a negative 3m, which is plus a positive 3m, so that becomes a minus 3m. Nothing over here, so we just have minus a negative 2, which is plus 2. All over, the denominator being the same, just like in fractions, we just keep the denominator the same, m squared minus 1. Now, can this factor at all? What two numbers in the top, m, m, well, two numbers multiply to be positive 2, but add to be a negative 3, and I'm seeing a minus 1 and a minus 2. Negative 1 times negative 2 is positive 2. Negative 1 plus a negative 2 is a negative 3. What about the denominator? What does this factor out to be? Well, what two numbers multiply to be negative 1, but add to be 0, because we have no m value, and that's going to be a minus 1 and a positive 1. Negative 1 times positive 1, negative 1. Negative 1 plus 1 is 0. Again, we notice m minus 1 is the numerator and denominator. We can cancel that out. And we're left with an m minus 2 over an m plus 1. But we want to note here something, that x cannot equal a positive 1. Why is that? Well, if x equals a positive, or m, not <laughs> x, you always do that. m cannot equal a positive 1. m cannot equal a positive 1 here. Because if one, if it was one in the denominator, it would be zero. It would be undefined there. But that information isn't conveyed when we simplify, because we cancel out that part that would cause that. So we need to make sure we state that. So anyway, when it's all said and done, this whole thing simplifies to be m minus two over m plus one, where m is not equal to one. Hope you learned something here on how to add and subtract rational expressions whose denominators are opposites. If you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching.